Holy cow, the waiters say your dreams should be what you chase When you open your eyes, you see reflection Find a sky from your direction Flex my mind, expand to reflection Sex and bites, receive your projection Sex not mercury, writing sentences Y'all made a hermit, but still be guessing I'm unpredictable, we're bringing these blessings Don't be cynical, you never be a lesson Got of the moon, man, the sun Putting these cycles to learn how we run I stop with the hell, it's 51 He's easy, demons are taking like a gun Have as hard as me when I'm nothing My body stays steady, bumping My tribute study the function Love in a dance in the sun Now I'm a star Live with a car, take a meet real far Leave your home to find out who you are Exodus dance to feel our heart Hearts and sisters are on the art Indigenous hot and invisible My part that we're seeing talk motors Can we just from the start? Things just in late, telling me it's dark And they caught up in a chart That says your dreams should be to chase Your dreams should feel hate race Constant change, don't stay in one place My friends are here, standing in the space Much like this fire, spreading the fire Many kings of water, cause hot to desire Tough to be alone and not ice and it's fire Face that I sign up and tell them my higher And this is what I want for your fate I just want you to be great Day carpe seeds every day Start sharpie, stay in your lane Ay, your dreams should build your chase Your demons should freely erase Conscious change will stay in one place Ay, your dreams should build your chase My dreams are the base on to my music My heartbeats with them so I can use it Taking that with spirits to call me away from mercury Whether I'm mad or trying to mod Touch the fun place where you heard of me Simulation, some of my consciousness I share with some from my esophagus Cause I'm containing my comments and waking Any problems be where the consequence comes to With demons with dominance over the world we're in Let the games begin, shake, shatter skin Just a lion again and greet you with a grin Hermes, see it's in, cause call night swing We let it stay in sin, but the website's been Cut your lives every day Cause call me spot mad cause I connect how we play Before I go silent, there's just one thing to say Your dreams should build your chase Your dreams should build your chase Your demons should feel here race Constant change don't stay in place Rise, rise, out so you stay in this space Minds connect and inspire Spreading the fire, breaking the water Cause causing desires That's real, learning the eyes and spires Raise our side ourselves to fly higher hey. I built meta trying to hurt Mazda, now I'm symmetry in the industry. When meta trying to hurt Mazda, I've been symmetry. Are you listening? Are you missing things? I've been kissing rings, turning tour boys into wedding rings. Yeah. Welcome back to the final segment of our very important, very awesome, very powerful podcast with Jonathan seven circles we just got very deep into realm we're going to keep getting deeper into realm as we break out of the realm okay it's all a circle but now okay because that's that was a lot we just covered a lot of details we could have given you way more we're not going to again he's going to write a book you can very well expect movies a lot of stories people will be talking about this idea best believe because this just made sense like watch this over you can everyone can watch this as much as they want get the snippets like oh i like monetary oh i like agriculture like you can attack it from so many angles like we just really took a metatron mindset to addressing the world that's why i have jonathan here i very much appreciate his natural metatron mindset to being able to attack the multiple angles of how a system is functioning way to go jonathan <laughs> thank you thank you for sharing very fire yeah i appreciate you giving me the opportunity uh this is my first podcast and um yeah i'm thoroughly enjoying it every moment yeah fire then you're gonna come back okay uh because we still have to hear about your personal story uh you shared it with me everyone it's i mean basic word is transformative so when we have Jonathan on for the next podcast, we're going to get into his personal transformation that he went through so that he is even intelligent and aware enough to create these connections and be able to talk with us like he does today. That's later. We're wrapping up this podcast with a little uh, talk about his ayahuasca experience. We heard he did a little psychedelics. Is that true, Jonathan? Absolutely. That's exciting. Absolutely. You're on the perfect yes. podcast to talk about it. If you would like to share what you unpacked or what you realized in this experience, any connections, let me say this about Jonathan as well before we wrap up. This is the man that taught Tehuti Trismegistus more about his life path. So he's he's a number man. Like he really picks up this number shit that's why he's a big proponent of numbers don't lie even though i can challenge him and be like but numbers do lie in his space his relationship with numbers is different which is why the symmetry makes sense to him this is why he's developed realm this is the whole point of him really being seven circles it's just conscious circles and he's separating himself from others and then that just leads to you building your own universe seven eight nine now he's realizing who he is as he branches out through reality by investing 
in himself. Very mm -hmm. lit. Psychedelics are all about investing in yourself. I'm pretty sure, right? Beautiful. Yeah, it is. So I think I think it's important to talk about psychedelics because we finished off talking about medicine, mm -hmm. uh, the medical the medical realm. And in my opinion, my humbly opinion is that psychedelics are actually true medicine, and it's a good medicine for someone who has been really indoctrinated in the system of the realm. Mm -hmm. There's been there's been plenty of people who have been addicted to heroin who have been on alcohol and they can't get off and they had one psychedelic experience with ayahuasca and now they no longer are um addicted to these things mm -hmm. you know so it's beautiful in that in that sense so psychedelics i want to say that to me when you're operating off of a psychedelic what you're doing is your attention, your 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 consciousness, your awareness. And your more specifically, ayahuasca is DMT, which is naturally produced in the body. So a psychedelic isn't just some random drug. It is a natural compound that we should be producing. And when you consume it from plants, you can hyperactively communicate with the universe in different ways, which is probably, yeah, what you went through. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, yeah, your pineal gland right secretes secretes it, um, and you're secreting it when there's no light around through melatonin. And mm -hmm. there's something even called dark room meditation. I interviewed a guy, did a podcast together, and how if you just immerse yourself in the darkness for a long period of time, you're naturally going to have a psychedelic experience. Right. This is kind of what is happening when you're dreaming. Yeah. Um, or I know, people, right? or people who don't get any sleep, they have psychedelic experiences. So with yeah. that comes is you get visuals, but what I wanted to say is, it's like when you are, when, when you're conscious, me being a consciousness, me being an awareness, mm -hmm. when I do psychedelics, what I, what I do is I, my consciousness is being attached to the consciousness of the, um, of Aya, as I call her, or Ayahuasca, right? Mm -hmm. And now she is able to take me into her realm of existence. Mm -hmm. And through that realm of existence is where the magic actually happens. So in my, in my opinion, Astral travel, exactly, exactly. In my opinion, in order to experience different realms is that you have to attach yourself to the thing that you want to experience. So for instance, hmm. if, a, if a woman, and that's just how thoughts work, of course. Right. Well, yeah, but, but like, check this. Like if a, wolf, Go ahead. if a wolf wanted to experience being in, the human consciousness it, it could in order for it to really understand the human consciousness it would have to attach itself to a human being so it would have to come through through a zoo it would have to come through through somebody having a wolf as a pet so wolves because of their nature we really don't do that but if you look at a dog a dog knows all about human consciousness because it has attached itself through human consciousness successfully so it's, it's seen as fornicate, it's seen as take baths, it's seen as eat, it's seen as cry, it's seen as fight. We use dogs as blind dogs or whatever they call it. We use dogs as police dogs. Mm -hmm. We use dogs as running dogs, dogs as all kinds of dogs, right? And so, <coughs> excuse me. So it definitely understands the human consciousness. Well, it's the same way mm -hmm. when it comes to plants. In order for me to really understand this this realm and to really get what this... this uh, ayahuasca realm has to offer me the plant kingdom i have to attach myself my consciousness to the consciousness of the plant and plants are conscious because consciousness doesn't just belong to human beings Con consciousness is impersonal right but be because human beings are arrogant right One egotistic things, yeah so we like to think that it's all about i i i i but it's really right. objective more than subjective we just experiences it through a subjective type of way so um I this was my seventh time trying ayahuasca, and the first time that I tried, I think it's important to remember this. I did it in uh, or to mention this. I, I did it in with the shaman with the group of forty people, and it was mm -hmm. ayahuasca and it was peyote. And uh, this was years ago, maybe fifteen years ago. And what happened to me at that time? I remember uh, it was in a big teepee. We had a big fire in the middle, and it was a four day event. And I was actually the chef of that event. So I got Dope. it. I got to go in totally free, which was nice. Mm -hmm. But when I did it, I remember my whole entire body was outlined in blue energy. Mm 
Mm. And when I would move my hand like this, the blue energy would follow. And I was vibrating, like literally vibrating. And I went into the restroom because it was on a farm and there was mm -hmm. like a, a, a couple restrooms and then also the big woods. It was on a couple acres. When I went into the restroom and I looked in the mirror, I still seen the blue light. It was still moving. And I remember mm. I asked the shaman and I was like, what does that mean? And he said, that means that that is your potential, that that is your potential. And I was like, wow. Well, it was really um, a really interesting thing for me. And then even two days after that, I still was vibrating. And then my friend at the time, she still was my friend. She touched me and said, Johnny, you're vibrating. Why are you doing that? And I just was vibrating. So, like, um, there's many different, I guess you could say, blockages that I got rid of by having different ayahuasca experiences. So that vibration that you were seeing was your potential like potential energy the, or what do the, you mean the light that i've seen that yeah was the like light. surrounding my body mm -hmm. he said that that was my potential and that's what he told me that's what i remember and mm. so i took it as like that's what i'm able to attain if i stick on the right path mm. so um and it was just real because i would move my hand and it would move along with me it was like mm -hmm. uh like it was just incredible mm -hmm. um and to even see it in the mirror, like, wow. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, but so my ayahuasca experience th this time, because I have many, right? So this time being mm -hmm. the seventh time, um, it was incredible. It was incredible. It was it was different than all of the other times. First and foremost, it was because it was done with all indigenous people. So the atmosphere was completely different. It was completely different. It felt really comfortable. It almost felt like a family reunion. Um and um you know i love i love all yeah. people right i love like just 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 who i am but mm -hmm. there's something about like being around people that under that understand you on a level where there's certain things that you don't even have to say like right. it's just it's just known right so it, it was that 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 feeling of you know familiarity and just being with those people so um what the experience had actually taught me is that um it, it taught me about my eating habits. And mm. even though I eat one time a day, I'm, I'm on like a, a, on a path to being a breatharian, but it's, mm -hmm. I'm doing a lot of intermittent fasting, which is kind of natural for me. Absolutely. It talked about the, the amount that I'm chewing my food. And it talked about also um, how that is tying up into my energy, not completely masticating it. Uh, it gave me or not even it she gave me instructions um on what i need to do in order to not let that happen uh anymore how did you receive this information yeah because information is everything i mean a food is um in information and mm -hmm. as i attach my consciousness to her um she is uh speaking to me she literally speaks to me like a, a like a, a lady every time <laughs> i every, every time i try ayahuasca literally it is like welcome back, Jonathan. Like it is uh, such a, 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 a it's, it's such a divine feminine spirit that takes me on a journey and guides me along to what mm -hmm. I need. Um, it's a it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, and there's so much healing in there. Um, mm -hmm. So what she what she does is she just moves through my body in such a way and pushes everything out. So mm -hmm. what that has done for me is that there was a lot of. Uh, I guess you could say stale food inside of me, whatever it came mm. out of every end, right? And um, <laughs> um, Wait, yeah, it, Jonathan, it, as we are getting to a minute, mm. are you open to continuing talking about your psychedelic experience? Yeah, absolutely. For one I just more can't, segment. I just can't leave you guys hanging like that. So we absolutely, do don't leave us hanging, please. Okay, <laughs> perfect. All right, then we're gonna be right back because ayahuasca is one of my favorite. Like it's very, everything he's saying is very real. The divine feminine energy of its ability to like heal you from the inside out, very real. It's very fun. Mm. Shout out psychedelics. Gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Gang, Where are you at, man? Gang. Are you still in um, LA right now? I am still in LA. LA. Okay, cool. Oh, you're still yes. recording. Oh, oh yeah, hold on. 